papillot uh, is what we're going to make today. Um, it literally means fish in paper. Um, it's a great way of steaming fish, really healthy. So you're going to need some baking paper. I've got about 18 inches, roughly. It doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be perfect. So you want your fillet of white fish. I'm using pollock because it's cheap. Half of a red onion. As well as the red onion, I'm going to use some spring onion as well. I'm also going to use some lemongrass today as well. You can get this in any supermarket. Um, it adds such a great flavour to your dish. So that's lemongrass. One clove of garlic. I'm going to chop that. A small knob of butter. You don't need much at all. The juice of one lemon. Half a teaspoon of dill. And a couple of sprigs of fresh parsley. A little bit of seasoning. So I've got some salt and pepper in here. Just a pinch. A really small bottle of dry white wine. You'll only need a, a little dash of this and you can drink the rest while you're cooking. So this is pretty much the only important bit for the dish. Um, every, all the rest of it you can change up the ingredients and do what you want with it. Um, so with our paper, we're going to fold it in half. And we're just going to cut it so it makes like a heart shape. So cut off the inside top corner. And then both edges, both outer corners, pretty much. Doesn't have to be exact, just roughly will do it. You're left with that sort of a shape. Yeah, it's nearly a heart. Just gonna roughly chop our half an onion. And then on a small baking tray, if you pop your, your heart on there, and then we're just going to chuck those onions on to the bottom. What well, that's going to do, that's going to make a little base for our, our fish to stand on top of. You do the same, chop your, your garlic. And uh, pop that onto the bed there. And again. Exactly the same with your spring onions. And just pop those on onto the bed. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take our piece of white fish and just place that on top. This dish really couldn't be simpler. Pop our knob of butter on the top, our salt and pepper. Our dill. Dill goes great with fish. It's always a herb I like to use when I'm making fish. I'm just going to pull apart these bits of our parsley and just pop them into there. So this is what we've got so far. We're going to take our lemongrass. This is one of my favourite ingredients in the world. If you've never used this before, just maybe try making a Thai green curry or, or using it for a fish dish. The, the flavour coming out of this is unbelievable. You'll find out why they call it lemongrass. So I'm just going to chop the end off and then literally I'm just going to peel. It comes off in like layers. I'm just going to peel this, the skin off and just place it on top of the fish. Now that's on there, I'm going to pour our lemon juice in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to fold it. So turn it towards yourself, so the, the V in the, in the top of the heart is facing to the left. And fold over the heart. You might need to move the fish just a little to make sure you can get the, the heart folded. Okay, now what we're going to do, start at the top left corner, and we're just going to fold really small fold and run your finger along the crease and then just keep going all the way along and what this does is it seals our paper bag that we've made 
and then the fish steams itself in all those lovely flavours we've got in there. And just before you close that final bit at the end there, we take our dry white wine. I'm just going to pour some of that straight into there. Just a good couple of glugs. Okay, so I'm left with most of my bowl. I'm going to continue folding. You end up with like what looks like a Cornish pasty shape, and that's what you're aiming for. Like so. And that's that's what we're after. It's sealed the whole way around. So now you've got your your fish on papier parcel there. I'm just going to place that into a hot oven for about 20 minutes. Now all you've got to do is sit back and wait. Okay, so that fish has had 20 minutes. That's literally it. I'm just going to pop our little parcel onto a plate and then use my scissors, cut it open in the middle and there you have it. Amazingly fragrant fish and papier. If you're serving this fish and papier at a dinner party or to your friends, leave the parcel sealed and let them cut it open themselves and then the steam's released and you got all that lovely flavour and the smell of the lemongrass coming through as well. So fish and papier, really healthy and very, very tasty. Enjoy making it at home.